Hi everyone, today I'll show you how to design and animate sports bike website UI in Figma. Let's get started. I have prepared the design system for the sports bike website UI design and all the images and content. And also I have provided all the necessary resources in the video description for you to download and follow along. So let's dive into the design process. First I will select the frame tool and click this MacBook Pro 16 inch. I'll place it somewhere here and I'll change this name to uh, Ninja Green like this and I'll add a layout grid to it so select the frame click on this layout grid option and make it columns and the count is 12 and the margin is on 64 and the greater is 30 like this and I'll change this color to this for now now I'll change this frame uh, background color so select the frame and click on this fill icon and I already added all the colors to my design library so click on this libraries and I'll change this color to ninja green on this color like this I'll add a rectangle to this uh, right side so press R on the keyboard and I'll draw a rectangle like this uh, first I'll change this uh, layout grid color so I can see I will change this to like this white color and now I will select this rectangle and I will place it somewhere here and double click on it select this point and drag it to like here like this and double click on it in the outside of this frame and click on this uh, rectangle again and I will change this color to ninja green color to like this I'll lock this one. Now I'll add the menu items. So first I will grab the logo for my design system. So I already prepared this one. So I'll place it somewhere here like this. And also I prepared the menu items. So I just duplicate it from my design system. So what is the font size of this uh, menu text? So for the menu text, I use the font family called Satoshi and font weight is medium. Font size is 20 pixel and line height is auto and i'll added them in the auto layout of uh, 50 pixel uh, space between and i'll make them center like this now i'll add the header icons to the right side so i already prepared this one also so i duplicate it from my design system and i'll place it somewhere here uh, like this so the icon size is uh, 28 pixel uh, width and height and i'll make them in auto layout also and space between is 32 pixel and i'll make them center like this so let me show you how i uh, get this icon so if you go click on this icon and go to this plugin and wizard option and search for this phosphor uh, icon you will get this icon from it so i'll make this uh, menu item center like this and i'll select all of them now and click on this icon to make the middle and now i'll press ctrl g to group them like this and I'll add top spacing of 50 pixel like this. Now I'll change this name to header. And I'll lock this one. So our header section is done. Now I'll add the uh, big ninja text. So I already prepared this one also. So let me quickly duplicate it. And I'll place it somewhere here. For this ninja text uh, font family, I use this uh, Tico font family and font weight is bold and font size is uh, 438 pixel and line height is 100% like this. And I'll make it like this and I'll add top spacing of 146 like this. Now I'll add our sports bike image. Now I'll duplicate this sports bike image and I'll place it on my design frame like this. I'll add uh, top spacing of 112 pixel like this and I'll place it like here. I'll add a guide so like this. So now I'll add our content on the right side. So I already prepared this one also so I quickly duplicate it and I'll place it somewhere here like this. I'll add top spacing of 238 pixel from the top like this. Let me show you the content font size. For this headline text, I use this uh, font family called Tico. 
and font uh, weight is semi bold font size is 100 pixel and line height is uh, 84 pixel for this price text font family is same font weight is medium font size is uh, 64 pixel and line height is 70 pixel and for this button uh, font family is same font weight is medium font size is 28 pixel and line height is 36 pixel and i'll make them in auto layout left and right uh, padding is 30 uh, 6 pixel and top and bottom padding is uh, 24 pixel like this and i make them in auto layout of a space between is uh, 48 pixel like this and for this featuring uh, text font size is font family is same and font weight is uh, medium font size is 36 pixel and font line height is 44 pixel and for this checklist font family is uh, same font family and font weight is regular font size is 32 pixel and line height is 40 pixel and the icon size is width and height is 24 pixel and i make them in auto layout space between is 12 pixel like this i'll make this featuring text and this checklist text in auto layout of space between is uh, 28 pixel like this uh, and the alignment is left like this now i'll add the social media icon to the bottom left side so i already prepared the icon and uh, so i duplicate it and i'll place it somewhere here and i'll add bottom spacing is 60 pixel like this and i'll add this navigation uh, text bottom right side and i'll add space bottom is uh, 60 pixel like this uh, let me show you the font family of this text uh, for this zero on text fonts uh, family is same uh, tico and and font uh, weight is regular font size is 48 pixel and line height is uh, 56 pixel and for this uh, zero 03 text font family is same font weight is regular and font size is 28 pixel and the line height is uh, 36 pixel like this and i'll make them in an auto layout of a space between is 4 pixel and i'll make them center like this and i'll add this select color button so i already prepared so i just duplicate it and place it to my design frame and i'll add a uh, space uh, bottom is uh, 60 pixel like this for this one uh, the select color font family is uh, tico and font uh, weight is medium font size is 24 pixel and line height is 32 pixel and for this circle width and height is 30 pixel and i added a uh, stroke of on pixel uh, black color i added a uh, icon also inside this uh, circle uh, width is 14 pixel and the height is 10 pixel for the active frame i uh, make the icon opacity is 100 percent and for the other frames i make the icon opacity is zero like this and i'll make them in auto layout with white color fill and left and right padding is 16 pixel and top and bottom padding is 10 pixel and space between is 10 pixel also and i'll make them in center like this and for this three circle i also make them in auto layout of 10 pixel space between and make them center like this so our design is uh, ready now i'll add other two uh, images uh, for the animation so i'll first duplicate this image like this i'll make the width is uh, 180 pixel like this same for this one also 180 pixel width like this now i select like this and i'll make it top like this uh, let me quickly change this uh, name to like uh, two and this one is three like this and i'll change this uh, image name to one like this now i'll select this two and i'll place it right here like this now select this two image and make the opacity is uh, zero like this for the ninja text i want animation to it so i'll quickly copy this one from my design system and i'll duplicate three times like this and i'll select all of them and i'll make it a space between like this and now i'll make them auto layout like this and right click on it and make them frame selection now press and hold the control key and drag the frame like this and click on this clip content like this now i'll replace this with the hold on like this now i'll remove the uh, old ninja text and i'll place this let me change this to 
like ninja text and i'll place it to behind of this uh, rectangle like this so our first frame uh, design is done now i'll duplicate two times so i'll duplicate this i'll place it somewhere here like this uh, for this frame i'll change this name to ninja black like this and i'll change this frame color to uh, this ninja black color one and for this one this uh, rectangle make sure you select the right frame otherwise this will change so so i'll select this one uh, ninja black frame rectangle one and i'll change this color to ninja black two like this now i'll make the bike image width is uh, 180 pixel like this and i'll place it uh, right here like this and i'll make the opacity is zero now i'll select this three image and make the opacity is back to 100 percent and i'll add a width is 1306 pixel like this and i'll place it like here like this for the uh, ninja text uh, i'll select this one and i'll move it to the up uh, make sure you in the uh, ninja black frame and i'll move it to like here like this and i'll make the icon opacity is zero and make this um, black icons opacity is 100 percent like this and also i'll change this text to like three and i'll place it like here now i'll do the same thing for the uh, silver bike so i'll duplicate this green uh, frame again place it somewhere here like this and i'll change this name to like silver like this and i'll select the frame and i'll change this color to this ninja uh, silver one color and make sure you in the ninja silver frame and click on this rectangle on and i'll change this color to ninja silver two color like this now i'll change the header color so i'll unlock this one and select the logo and i'll change this color to this black color and for the menu item i'll change the color to this black color and for the icon i'll change this color to this black color like this and for the content color i'll uh, do the same thing so select the uh, frame i'll change this color to this black color and for this text i'll make the color to white color like this for this one i also change this color to black color same for this one like this and for the social uh, media icons color i will change this color to black color for this button color i'll change this uh, background color to this uh, black color and the text color i'll make this white color and i'll select individual uh, shape and i'll change this color to this white color like this i'll make it opacity zero and select this one i'll make the uh, check icon opacity is 100 percent like this for the image i'll make the width is 180 pixel like this and i'll place it like here uh let me uh, lock this one and i'll place it like here like this and i'll make the opacity is zero now i'll select the image to image and make the opacity is 100 percent like this and i'll make the weight is 1306 pixel like this and i'll place it like here like this and for the ninja text i'll quickly change this this one and select the frame and i'll move it to up like this so our, all the frame design is done now we'll add the animation to it so click on the first frame go to the prototype prototype option and click on the green color and link to this um, ninja green frame triggers on click and animation is smart animate and 
curve is custom spring and I'll make this stiffness is 40 and damping is 10 like this and the duration I'll make it 1200 like this and for this uh, black color and I'll link to this uh, ninja black frame trigger is uh, on click and animation is everything is same like this and for the in color I link to this uh, ninja green frame and everything is same like this and for this one silver color I link to this first uh, ninja silver frame like this and everything is same so our prototype is done one more thing I forget to change I'll make the uh, navigation text to 2 like this the esports bike website UI design and animation are now ready. Let's take a look at the preview. The esports bike website UI design and animation is now complete. I hope you enjoy my work. If you do, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you in the next video. Bye.